for the screen and we'll move on to the next point. Okay, here we go. Um, now, just to help us understand how important this is, we're going to continue a little bit with that. This is like the first theme of the introduction is the importance of uh, learning about God's unity. Um, here we go. And uh, just to stress the importance of that, he brings down that the Zohar, he quotes the Zohar again, and the Zohar says that um, if a person does not try to know God, that it would be better that they had not been born. So that's a pretty extreme little statement there. And um, this little baby in his blanket. And... Uh, he says, furthermore, that this is the entire purpose of man, that this is our purpose. Our purpose here in life is to know God and to bring that knowledge into our life and out into the world. But if we don't try to do that, then we're really not fulfilling our purpose down here in this world. Um, and he says, furthermore, that this is, the, like we mentioned, this is the mitzvah of Shema, which it says... Um, encompasses all the mitzvahs. And not only that, this is the first mitzvah, the Shema is the first mitzvah that Moshe Rabbeinu gave us. And um, at, when he started giving, saying over, repeating the Torah before he died and he was passing on the mantle of leadership to Yeshua, so he told the Jewish people his advice that if you want to keep all the Torah, what do you need to focus on? You've got to focus on the Shema. And that is the key to being able to do everything else. Is that if you focus just on this one thing, on understanding God's unity and revealing, using that to, to reveal your faith in God and your understanding of God and develop a, a commitment and self-sacrifice, that, that is the key to being able to fulfill everything. So, um, okay. And the next thing he explains is that the mitzvah of Shema is to understand God, but it's specifically to take our emuna, our faith, which is in God's essence that's beyond understanding, and to bring that down into understanding, into, um, into our das. Because the faith itself is something that's innate in our soul, and that we don't have to have a commandment for because that we just have naturally. But in order to bring that faith and strengthen it and make it something that we understand, that is where we have the mitzvah of Shema come in. And that's what we, we're trying to do. And when Mashiach comes, um, that faith is going to be completely revealed. And so by learning about God's unity, we bring us closer to the time of Mashiach, which is uh, really awesome. That's what we want to do. Okay, now, and that's one of the reason why this was taught by Moshe, because Moshe is the Raya Mahemna. Um, Raya Mahemna. That he is the called the faithful shepherd, which explains in Kabbalah and Hasidus that that's the idea that Moshe is the one that takes our faith and feeds it to us and brings it down into our understanding, which is what we're talking about over here. So it's all really interconnected, the, the fact that it comes from Moshe and everything. And the Zohar even goes so far, the, the Mitzvah now goes so far as to say that a person that doesn't do this is, uh, it's like a person that that doesn't put on tefillin. Um, it's like just refusing to do one of the mitzvahs, and in a way it's worse than not putting on tefillin, because that, a person that doesn't put on tefillin is sitting with their body. But a person that doesn't study God's unity, doesn't know God, is sitting and rebelling against God with their soul, which is more serious. And so he says that spiritually, that's the idea of like a karkaf de le manach tefillin. Uh, somebody that never put on tefillin is somebody that doesn't uh, study about this kind of stuff. Furthermore, he says that when we don't, when we don't do this, when we don't study God's unity, um, that's the cause of, just like studying it brings Mashiach, not studying it brings Golos. And so all the problems of exile and all the, you know, the problems of the world pretty much come from not having this understanding revealed in the world. And when we study it, we can fix it. And he says that this is the key to having our prayers answered. That, um, 
that when a person, oop, let's fix that up, uh, pray yours answered, that it says that a person that has uh, commits to God in Shema, that he he commits to and to God's unity in the Shema, then his prayers are answered when he goes and prays and says the Shemona Esrei. So, um, this is really good stuff. Okay, let's clear the screen one more time. 